Hi there, and welcome to episode 3 of the second season of A Rim World of Magic. I'm Icon, and uh, I'm right in the middle of uh, a big, big fight here. So, just when I stopped to record last episode, there was this uh, huge uh, raid coming in. 19 people against 5 of mine. Well, it's not entirely true. We got the uh, caravan here, but ultimately I think um, the easiest way will be to just uh, put Eric in front of the, this uh, door and, uh, well, let's, let's put Conley in front of that first because uh, I don't want um, to lose my walls here like that. Okay, let's uh, just run for now. Pull them into uh, my allies here. And there we go. So let's see. Eric shouldn't be uh, in, any pro uh, in any trouble here. I hope. Well, let's see. They're surrounding Eric now. <laughs> Can't imagine that this should be too much of a problem for him, but... Uh, I don't know. Let's rather be careful for now. So, is there anybody here? This hyena person. Okay, part of those uh, guys is already fleeing now. That's good. Alright, so... Uh, there's the next part of these guys fleeing. There we go. Okay, so uh, that's that. Let's see if there's anybody uh, worth rescuing here. Elk, magically gifted, perfect. Um, yeah, this elk person will be uh, saved. We got to. Uh, Take care of Eric and uh, Conley. Well, no, I need some here. Combaro, that's better. I need some uh, somewhat decent uh, um, doctor here because I definitely want to uh, have a chance in uh, saving that guy. There we are. That was um, pretty brutal overall. Well, I took the greedy uh, way there to uh, to begin with. I gotta say. All right, now I'm able to capture that fella. And uh, let's see. Ah, the iron husk beetles are being rescued by the uh, ER bot already. I like that so much. Okay, elk, welcome. You're going to be uh, recruited by us one day, that is. Danny? Please stay with us, Danny. I don't want to lose you. Kevega. Well. What can I say? I don't feel like saving that guy. There we go. So, there's a few treatments still necessary, but looks like everything's going well. Okay, nice. The best thing about that um, is that uh, Elk is a uh, magically gifted person, which will receive the uh, nature script I got here. And therefore, I don't have any more trouble with that. That's so good. My donkey has given birth on the road. Because I didn't want to uh, use this uh, nature script before, um, well, while I had uh, only one person. What's happening here? Lesser water elemental. 
There's a cheetah of the Chakrila nation. That's what's happening there. Okay. Okay. Strange. So where was I? Yeah, I didn't want to use that uh, script because I wanted to have uh, one slot open for um, for a uh, what's it called again? For a uh, bright mage, if one crosses my path, because of this uh, teleport, uh, the teleport abilities, they're just that good, and uh, they would help my uh, plans of planetary conquest a lot. But let's see. So we're on our way to Decency's Bramble, and uh, this also will be the last last stop for this caravan before they head back home sadly I love long trading caravans somehow hey Conley I'm feeling trapped so Conley is not even assigned to mining <laughs> is he able to mine Let's check this out oh not really um yeah so you fool how are you? Quite good. Okay. So, um... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mine this uh, poor fella out. I really feel like, uh... Cannot mine? No path? What? <laughs> I really feel like I should uh, install that mod which, uh increases the building intelligence of your people. There is a mod for that, you know. I guess there is a mod for everything, but uh, this one, well, it seems to be more necessary than I wanted, than I thought it would be. All right, Eric, uh, we got you out of there, Conley, any moment. Don't you worry. So, we got this uh, town here. So, no people for sale? Well, didn't really expect. Prosthetic leg, bionic animal eye, dang. Combat form, gladiator. Sure, why not? But I don't feel, uh, I'm not feeling it. So uh, at least a decent robot or something like that, no? Dang, too bad. So these uh, sports don't even Think about selling anything useful for me. Brittle Star. Alright. So, uh, let's head back home. So, Conley is finally free. He's not imprisoned any longer. <laughs> uh, dang. Okay, so uh, Dennis is now uh, on mining duty again, because I feel like uh, we do need that. Oh, a trader from Tianning's Adepts is uh, in town. Great. So, ah oh, yeah, numbers are still dead. So, Dennis is social. Awesome social 5, Eric social 13, Conley, well, whatever. So, uh, where's the trader you guys were talking about? Ah, here. Mini, uh, caravan. Hmm, so, what's for sale here? Not really anything I would like to have, actually. But am I surprised? Not the least little bit. Okay, so uh, we're going to pick up the money of this guy. <clears throat> so take one cloth duster and uh, keep the spare change. Okay. Two days of traveling time before uh, Hummingbird and Braga he'll, he'll come back to town. Okay, then. Oh, there's yet another cheetah. So, uh...
Come on, what do you mean with out of range? I like that. Good job, Combero. Perfect hunt. Oh, there's steel in here. I should definitely pick that up while I'm at it. All right, there we go. So Dennis is mining out all that steel, even though, well, obviously we're uh, not needing too much uh, steel at, uh, overall, but whatever. So, um, yay, my dragon is uh, seriously eating those uh, rhinos here. Gosh, scary. Okay, so uh, I feel like I want to uh, bring up a few more pieces of defense. Sure, it's not much, but whatever. Two turrets more or two turrets more. more. Blade mastery, yeah, sure. This guy will be pretty uh, strong once he's uh, done with all his training. But sadly, uh, he does need a lot of time until he's uh, getting there. Okay, Combero is done with dusters. So once Combero is done with gloves, we're ready to go for the next caravan again. This is so, so insane, actually. All right, Lindsay, let's go. You are uh, you're going to destroy the next cheetah. Zap. Mm, there we go. I do like that. So yeah, the uh, generator is finished. That's also pretty nice. And those turrets are finally being built. Okay, great. So, well, I'll just duplicate those uh, turrets yet another time because this will uh, lure the, the enemies just uh, into attacking them. Which is always a good thing. And let's just uh, build a few more turrets here. Yes, a few more. Looks like this when I. But when I got this amount of turrets, uh, this amount of steel available, I just want to invest that into. Um, more defenses just feels like the proper thing to do to me uh, for me masterwork devil strand gloves yummy i like that all right so this uh, smoke leaf leaf uh, harvest will be huge but this will also bring us uh, a a terrible lot of uh, trading material and that's what I want to see. So, um, pemmican. How about pemmican production? Condiment prep. Is there any condiment uh, which I could do uh, out of meat? I mean, that doesn't uh, seem too realistic to me, but uh, luciferium powder. Go juice stock. Yum. Wake up powder. So, uh, well insect jelly rock salt okay making salt out of stone blocks interesting so um let's make oh i haven't uh, researched pemmican yet dang i was like come on let's just make a lot of pemmican be smart make pemmican nope Wait a sec, but there is pemmican. There's psychit. No, I must have looted that pemmican. Curses. 
Um, Caravan from Tianning's Adepts. <gasps> Tetra Slugs. Oh man. These uh, give uh, produce power in, instead of anything else there. Uh, electricity producing animals. I like those, but uh, well. I am that rich, but no. Not gonna. <laughs> it doesn't feel like a, like a proper thing to invest my money in. And it's, uh, that's why I'm not doing it. Alright. Agricultural trader. Nice. Um, so there we go. Swings cats. Well, not too interested, honestly. They do buy my desserts, though, so let's uh, increase the total amount of money, why not? I mean, while I'm at it, <laughs> why not uh, gather even more money? Oh, uh, while we're talking about gathering even more money, um, it is actually a smart choice to sell off all that meat, because uh, honestly, I have zero problems in... Uh, bringing up again these amounts, like uh, there's uh, an army of gazelles, obelisks, nice. New uh, forms of art expression, I like that. So uh, long story short, I don't think uh, I'll notice the lack of that meat at all. Like there's so many animals which need to be butchered, which, which I want to butcher because uh, Lots of money. Wild Pawn Spore Club. So, um... This will hatch into a, uh... Into a new Wild Pawn. So these shouldn't be stored in here. I mean, sure, it does help, uh, to... Um have those uh, inside here, but uh, uh, if you want to um, prohibit them from breeding, it would be uh, quite useful, but I didn't know that they are uh, here. Wild pot thingies are forbidden. And let's just uh, haul that away. Because it would be a shame to lose that for no reason at all. Okay. That little wild pawn is meant to be bred. There we go. Wow, I definitely need uh, some sort of storage for that silver. Well. So let's do a little skip where we store that silver. Feel like uh, it feels so uh, pretty decadent to store your silver in a skip. Feels like uh, the only thing we're uh, missing out now is uh, is a shovel to shovel that stuff around. So it's the critical point. There we go. Oh, there's even more. Uh, money on the uh on my pack animals good lord so let's build another skip here copy settings paste settings there we go so i hope this will uh bring me enough uh storage room to uh haul that silver all right, Combaro got a new uh, skill level. So, Clear Mind and Arcane Wall are new spells which I could learn. I'll rather wait and learn Teleport first. I vaguely remember that I uh, planned to do that and then I forgot it when I restarted this run. Anyways. Okay. Super happy about that uh, Resurrector Mech Serum because uh, 
that is a very uh, big relief to have um, one extra life in my storage here. Oh, curses. That's uh, not how this should work. This is only the uh, the normal room. So we had a little bit of a misprioritization misprioritization here because they started to uh, haul meat now into the uh, other room, which is uh, completely wrong because meat will spoil in there. Overall, I feel like uh, there's a lot of things that would that that, that should be somewhere else. So let's. Uh, Put the plasteel onto the uh, uh, yard here as well. Okay. So, how's the recruitment of uh, elk going on? Oh well, not bad. Already uh, seven points lower than when, when I started. I was afraid that this would go worse. So, um, Township at the Stream, 8 days, Ensho, 5 days, Lepanto, 10 days, so yeah, we're definitely out of trade for the next time. I want to try out one, one thing now, finally, now that the uh, Xenum people are allied with me, I want to ask for a caravan, yeah. Let's uh, ask for an arcane items uh, collector. That's what I wanted to see. That's why I wanted to uh, ally myself with these folks so badly. Um, nobody decided to destroy that body. Okay. So, is there a possibility? Yeah, I think... Uh, this uh, beastie here got added into the Alpha Animals mod pack after I started this series because uh, that happens quite often. There is a mod to which uh, which changes that, but uh, usually when, they, when when something new gets added into your game after you started the game, the uh, standard setting for the checkbox is uh, nope. <laughs> so. Um. Dang. There's no fabrication, no? No. That would be awesome to research that soon. Because I'm out of components now. But, yeah, let's let's do this. I mean, uh, that's a good decision. I'm going to head over here. So we're going to bring Eric and, uh, let's say... Let's say Hummingbird. Yeah, why not? For some peace talks and for buying some uh, components. Because I totally forgot to buy myself some components. Silly me. So, uh, Eric and Hummingbird are going to be the writers here. Oh, well, I've got to turn off my mail program. So, um, well, I'm not gonna pick up any wares. Just bringing my people here and nothing else. All right. Wow, Combero, shooting sixteen, and uh, you're still pulling, putting uh, up such a uh, terrible show. Wow. Okay, thought that uh, you would be better by now. Little did I know. Oh, come on, Braga. I hate it when you do stuff like that, guys. Okay, so let's check out those sculptures. Uh, depicting Braga while out for adventure. Some random, some random, okay. I also want to use the opportunity to uh, um, to fulfill those peace talks while heading over to Ensho. I do like to uh, to do this like that. K. 
caravan ambushed. Oh, you sillies. You sillies, you shouldn't have done that. Come on, Eric will eat you alive and spit you out laughing. So, um... Yeah, well, um... Whoops. You shouldn't run into Eric like that, guys. You just shouldn't. It's very, very foolish to do so. But not really my problem anyways, so... Rest in pieces. I'm so happy that uh, Elk joins uh, this uh, colony sooner or later. So let's uh, let's bring up Lindsay. Have a quick blink over the wall, and a little lightning bolt zap. And that's that. Another level up. Awesome. So uh, I'm, I'm learning uh, lightning bolt efficiency now because I do like the uh, lower uh, power costs here. Because mana is quite limited after all. Peace talks flounder. Well, social level 13. Not enough for... Uh, a positive outcome, sadly. Well, well. Well, well. People keep having a lot of headaches here. Pacifist flees from any hostile actions made against it, even by friendlies. Dragon breath. That's new. Oh, I can now. Oh, great. I can enable or disable the dragon breath. So uh, that means I'm finally able to draft that baddie. Great. Because that was one, a, one of the bigger uh, problems there. That uh, whenever I drafted that guy, he said ev each and everybody. Uh, each. He set everybody and everything on fire. <laughs> and uh, that was really not good. Alright, so just hope that uh, the people at Ensho will have a few components for me. Just, I completely forgot that we would need the new components. Somehow it didn't uh, occur to me that this might be a thing. Yay, Dennis is finally done with mining out that really big steel deposit. Alright, so... Um, we're still not uh, not quite done yet, so I'm gonna build walls like here, and then I'm gonna mine out that room. And uh, once that's done, I got uh, I got new orders. But now finally, we're we're going to use all these uh, leftover materials, you know. Can't wait to make a uh, druid out of elk. Can't wait to make a druid out of him. So, uh, 38 components. That's, uh, that's a start. So, let's sell off a few desserts. And let's see. Bright Mage Spell, Spirit of Light. Oh, well. Madam Fang's word of love while well, I have no sidecasters. ER level 5. Well, that's what I could spend my money for. <laughs> but um, not interested, thanks. A psychic shock lance. Well, uh, I can't resist those items, they are so useful. There are so many things which you can do with those psychic insanity or psychic items in general. It's uh, great. So I'll hope that uh, Eric and uh, the others will be back in town before the uh, arcane uh, items collector hits town. 
And uh, yeah, that's uh, the end of today's episode. So let's just uh, pelt away on that uh, on that nasty little coyote, and then I'm off to say goodbye for today. So thank you so much for watching, friends. It's been yet another wonderful time. So well. It's gonna take a few more episodes until I'm ready to uh, strike on my enemies, but uh, we're gonna get there soon. So bear with me, friends, and uh, until then, leave me a comment down below, leave a like, leave a subscribe. I'd be delighted if you do so. Until then, goodbye.